how are you? Alex here, Ollie there. And uh, basically, strap on your helmets, get ready for your mind to explode. Because my buddy Richard invited me to a noise show. What is a noise show, you ask? Good question. It's noise music, by the way, which apparently is really big in Japan, but like everything's big in Japan, right? Like all the shit you've never heard of, huge in Japan. Is it rhythmic? Don't know. Is it melodic? I don't know. All I know is the definition of music is sound organized into rhythmic and melodic patterns. So I have to assume that they're at least following that rule. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Ollie and I are on our way there now. We're going to meet up with Richard. So buckle up. It's going to be a good one. Oh yeah, before you go, I forgot to mention that Ollie and I have a little competition going on to see who can take the best picture. Um, because we have these beautiful cameras here. And we want to use them and exercise our photography skills. And what better place to do that than some mysterious noise show. We're going to put you to sleep for now. We're going to go eat some root chow with our friends. Wish me luck. <laughs> we'll catch up with you later. We met up with some friends and enjoyed a mostly liquid dinner at a local Ruchel restaurant in preparation for the concert. There was a general sense of curiosity and fear at the table as we all anticipated the loss of our noise music virginity. Shortly after the last beer bottle was empty, we set off to Revolver, where the noise music could be found. Hey guys, so this is Richard that I was telling you about before and um, he's the one that's going to be playing the concert tonight and so I thought I would just pull him apart from the crowd and ask him a few questions and the first question that you guys are probably wondering and me also is uh, what is noise music? Well I guess most people will think noise is the antithesis of music it is everything that music isn't. Okay, so is it like a rebellion? Like, like punk music, Punk was a rebellion, yeah, and I yeah. guess it kind of grew out of punk music, you know? Okay. There's a, a listening that we do, and it brings us pleasure, and it can be the staring of a coffee cup, right. the, the sound of somebody sleeping next to you. Okay. That's noise music, that's noises that go on around you, and I guess it's the kind of like layering the kind of organization of those or the randomization of those. So I got one last question for you. Um, if you listen to classical music you can expect violins and cellos and timpanis. If you listen to rock and roll music you can expect drums and guitars and bass guitars and singers. Oh yeah definitely. Um, what, like, what kind of instruments are being played in noise music? Like, like what, what can I expect to see? Like, will I see someone with a guitar? Will I see someone with a violin? Like, you or may. is it just you may. open to... I've seen people play hoovers, vacuum cleaners before. <laughs> I've seen people play... I've seen a man struggling with putting a microphone down a tube for 45 minutes. That was... That's bizarre. That was the act. All right, well... <laughs> I'm really excited for this, Richard. Thank I, you for inviting me. I hope you enjoy it, man. Like, it's, um... Yeah. It's real. It's I, I think real. a lot of our viewers are, are super interested. So well, let's smash uh, that like button. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard it from him. All right, I'm here with my buddy. Introduce yourself. Tell uh, me my name's Robert, and uh, born in California, half California. Taiwanese. Yeah. Okay, very cool, Robert. So I heard that you were actually a classically trained musician. Yeah, yeah. Um, my so. Like I said, my mom's Taiwanese, mm. and there's like a big culture of, you know, piano, violin. Okay, but stuff. now you're in noise music, which is... Well, well, well are you, is that what you're into, or are you still playing classical? Well, you know, it's funny, I even got into it. It's, it's all Richard's fault. You know, he had this passion. We, we had this um, shared kinship of just kind of like 
music, uh, not like a musical historian, but almost like a musical anthropologist, like just understanding like the different cultures and this like very live organic thing that's like still happening and constantly evolving to this day. And from there, you know, he started introducing me to his world of noise, which I never really explored. Right. And um, it was just such an innocent thing of like, hey man, let's jam. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Um, well, thanks a lot, man, for having me out here. Absolutely, I appreciate man. the interview. Appreciate I'm really excited you, to see what happens tonight. Absolutely, and, dude. Uh, it's, they're going to tear it up. Show's over. I'm here with my man Joseph. Mm -hmm. Joseph, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you, my man. Um, and if you don't recognize him from the show, he was a drummer. Since I was a child, my mother was very musical, so I played like piano growing nice. up for a long time. Right. Very rhythmic. I, yeah, I got into trumpet for a while when I was a teenager, <laughs> but like uh, around like 15, 16, I found you know the drums, and I was like, oh man, I really want to play this, and like got a drum set, and like kind of took off with that. Going from that to noise music, I mean, like, what, what made you go to noise music rather than playing in a rock and roll band? Um, well, for, uh, for a lot of years, I played organized music, you know, and like a variety of bands and stuff and like, you know, road music and all that. And uh, I don't know, there was like a turning point where like, uh, you know, I had been doing some more improvisation with certain musicians and um, right. I don't know, it just kind of, it spoke to me and um, I really like found myself and found a way to speak that way. I was raised in Providence, Rhode Island, so there's always been like a uh, kind of like a pretty like vibrant noise scene and like oh, really? just like weirdo no music shit. community there. Okay. So you know, I you know I came up going to shows, seeing a lot of like weird avant-garde and like fucked up shit. I really feel like noise music, and you might feel the same way. It's just something you gotta see live. I mean, Richard's, oh, yeah, Richard's described it to me so many times, and 
and even shown me stuff on his phone, but it just doesn't do. You got to be there. You got to. You, you got to be, be in there. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you have to be there. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, thanks, man. I, I hey, appreciate you. you. Thank you, man. Thanks for and a great I, show. I appreciate the support and the documentation because this is very important. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Think so too. Cheers, man. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. So obviously it's the day after the concert. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we had a competition to see who could take the best photo during the concert. And so we're going to have a look at that. But before we get into it, um, I just have to say like that the show was actually better than I thought it was going to be considering that it's noise but when you're there it's impossible to show you guys because it's just something you have to see live but it does make you feel something it's weird it's hard to explain really hard to explain I, it felt like a roller coaster of emotions um, perhaps not the most pleasant emotions right like yeah. I wasn't like yeah, yeah but uh, but it definitely I mean I don't know I, I was telling Alex that that's what art is supposed to do, no? Like, mm. as long as it does some, something to your emotions. Worth checking out if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, yeah, okay. Let's get into the photo thing. So, <laughs> do you have... Move this out of the way. Do you have a photo that you've chosen? It was hard, to be honest. Um, I would... Oh, man, so hard to decide. I haven't seen her photos yet. And she hasn't seen mine. Yeah. And the rules are we each have to just choose one photo oh. um, that we think and submit it to see who wins. Do we get to explain it? Yeah. And then you guys can comment down below. If you follow me on Instagram, then you probably already saw these photos. Um, and you can comment on Instagram as well. This is my photo. Um, <laughs> I was trying to look for a, a photograph that had maybe levels to it. Um, and so he's yelling into the megaphone, and in this part he actually got very into it. He like goes all the way down to the ground and he's yelling. Um, and I was able to catch, I don't know if you can see, but this is, I took a picture from right behind somebody's head and shoulder. Mm. And so that's the left side of the frame. And then on the right you see somebody else's arm. Um, so he, the main character is kind of in between them. Yeah. Yep. Nice. That might be the winner, because mine's not that great. <laughs> kind of doing video. Mine is not of a person, it's just the equipment. And I just chose it because I like the colors. That's very you, you though. Yeah. And it's just the musical equipment. And I really like, you know, the focus plane is on the knobs and then there's just a mess of wires and stuff in the back. And you can see Richard's synthesizer on the left there. But like the purple and the blues, that's very simple colors. Just two, two colors in the whole picture. That's what I like the most about it. It's beautiful. I think yours wins. It's very I like, Alex. <laughs> I like that yours has a person. Yay! And it's framed. Do <laughs> you agree? Um. You can agree. <laughs> you can choose your own photo. Yeah, I, I, I vote for me. But <laughs> <laughs> I think it's that's the cool thing about photograph, right? And arts, like, it's we, we both see different, completely different angles to the beauty of the, the mm -hmm. situation or the event. Yeah. So Anyways, they're both on Instagram if you want to check them out, along with a bunch of other photos. And uh, yeah, I hope you learned something in this video. I know I did. Yeah. It was an interesting filming experience. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. All right, kids. Stay safe. Be good to each other. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.